Hey guys, welcome back to Death Mark. Last time we uh, had a little Definitely. fight with Mary. <laughs> it wasn't even a fight, we just ran around, got a statue, and went boop! And she Mary, blew up. We got in an argument with Mary and uh, it, it ended badly. Domestic dispute. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> it ended badly. Had an epilogue thingy and now apparently there's more. It wasn't really an epilogue, it was more of a conclusion, but now well, there's more. You know what I mean, you know, a little thing of type. Anyway, stuff. let's get back into it. And now! <gasps> we shall reveal Cujo Mansion. <laughs> oh yeah. Of, Sorry, go ahead. A lot of time has passed. I forgot, we are now the head. The head of the Cujo family. I have hair in my mouth. Yeah, how to... How Head of the Cujo... Mansion. Yeah, but you just could continue and I'll read. <laughs> How much is a lot of time? <clears throat> the muted chirping of insects gently drift along a breeze that enters the mansion. <laughs> it's cool enough to sleep through the night again. It's nearly autumn, after all. Oh. So it's the end of summer then. It was already so know. like three months or so past. I don't know. I feel like more. I stare out the window at the unchanging scenery without really seeing it. Clouds in the distance rumble with thunder. Rumble, rumble, rumble. As if on cue, a chill wind brushes up against the window pane. Hold on, I've gotta clean my glasses real quick. You can still click it. So I've been doing it. It's taking me long to clean my glasses. Rain again, huh? I think we're old now. Mm -hmm. I comment because otherwise it feels like I'm a in a dream. It's as if a stranger is speaking. I stare at the lead leaden sky. Leaden? I think it's 11. Even though I'm resting in a chair, I feel like I'm somewhere far away. I think he is old now. When I shift, I see out of the corner of my eye the stack of books piled on the desk. Some were pretty difficult to get my hands on. It is leaden. Inertly heavy, to, like lead. Hard to lift or move. Yes. Dull, spiritless, or gloomy, as in mood or thought. Of a dull gray color, oppressive, heavy, sluggish, listless, poor quality. I thought we were metal. playing a game. Made of consist or consisting of lead. But I don't feel like reading them anymore. <laughs> I could read all of them and none will give me any type of clue. <laughs> hey Dan, what does intrepid mean? Shut up. <laughs> That's all I've learned after all this time wasted. <laughs> the longer I try, the further away it gets. <laughs> Stop laughing and let's finish this. I'm sorry. That thing sleeping in the wooden box. Oh, Barry. Yes. I head downstairs to make myself some coffee. Coffee. There's a sudden knock at the door. More like a bang, but you know, whatever. That hollow sound doesn't bring back good memories. Hello! Let us in! It used to signal the arrival of new mark bearers to the mansion. I'm a new mark bearer! Oh my god. <laughs> but that's in the past now. Is it? I swing the door open. Whoosh! <laughs> swing swung. Oh, I thought I pushed it. Sorry. Standing in front of me is... Saya Kujo of Kujo Mansion. Konnichiwa! Hiya! Hiya! Moe Watanabe. Is now a good time, mister? Oh, if it isn't, just tell me and I'll leave you alone. Yeah, it's fun. It's Fine. <clears throat> Moe flashes a carefree smile and steps inside with a pep in her step. Just her presence makes this place feel less gloomy. Mm. With a start, I realize that Moe isn't my only visitor. Wait, with us. Did... It is with the start. It's been a while. It's been a while. I'm sorry for coming without contacting you. 
This little boy has some very, a uh, very deep voice. <laughs> Look, I won't be surprised if he sounds like that. If he can't hear you. Sukasa, this is rare. Why are you, are you here? Um, it's been a while and I wanted to see you. <laughs> oh, there it goes. You said it. <laughs> no, I didn't. Fine, I didn't read do, any of that. You can, do, you can do it then. Um, it's been a while. It's really, it's been a while. Seems to be met up, so we talked about what happened. I'm sorry, Tsukasa. <laughs> and obviously, the topic came to you. So I told him that I visit you a lot and that he should come with me. No big deal, right? Rig it. Slap. <laughs> I was just getting bored. Of course, I don't mind. I was just getting bored. Yeah, I figured as much. You seem the type with time on your hands. He's probably rich now. Probably. I haven't seen them both together since the mark. I'm always come by sometimes for interviews and the like for an occult magazine. I don't know why I struggle with the word. Mm -hmm. But this is the first time I've seen Tsukasa Yoshida since then. I wasn't really concerned over him, but I'll admit I'm relieved to see he's alright. I'm glad to see you're well. Have you gotten a chance to relax? I have. But aren't you busy with entrance exams? Do you have the, Do you have time to waste doing this? Listen here, you crummy adult. Drinks are important. See, honestly, I'm not surprised if he sounds like this. <laughs> Honest, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> honestly, as an adult, you should understand that. Y yeah, you're right. Uh, I, don't I glanced over me. to see Moe staring at me. What is it? You have something on your face. It's just, I'm working hard at my job too. You don't have anything to say? See, told you. <laughs> I'm right over here. Oh, I know you are. It's only natural to work hard. Don't catch a cold. Because don't catch a cold, I don't know. I'm just gonna say how I know okay. you are. Trust me, I know you are. You've barreled your way in here several times already. That doesn't sound very encouraging. I'm not here to fucking encourage you. But no way am I a match for Tsukasa. He works crazy hard. He was first in the recent mock tests. <gasps> Congratulations. It's only natural. Do you see who I am? Do you see my hair and my eyes? I'm clearly brilliant with my dead soul. After all, I have a goal. He sold his soul to be intelligent. <laughs> you do? I've never heard him mention it. Uh, we don't really have time. Or maybe for I should say I never expected him to say he has a goal. You have something you're trying to accomplish? My parents were lawyers, so I was thinking I'm entering the juridical pro profession. But was thinking, huh? Has he changed his mind then? Oh, excuse me. Wow, that's a cool dream. Jurassic Park. So like dinosaurs too? Tsukasa's glare is full of contempt. Not ju oh, I'm sorry. Not Jurassic. Judicial is in working and dealing with the law. Are you really in high school, Millie? Ugh. <laughs> that hurt me deep. I've never been at a loss for words before. To be honest, now I'm not sure. If possible, I would like to ask you for your opinion, mister. Is that alright? No. I don't mind, but I'm kind of surprised. Who'd think Sukasa would ask me for advice? The incident I was wrapped up in started it. Now, I know there are so many incomprehensible things in the world. I'm considering going into science in order to elucidate them. About my parents, I feel that it would be difficult to tell them. Ah, I see. That's what's going on. It's a serious predicament. You don't seem like someone who has much in the way of work experience. But... What do you think I should do? Think it over? Serious. Think it over. Make sure that's what you actually want to do. Mm -hmm. It's difficult to say. Everything that happened could have just shaken him up. 
It might be good to talk it out with his family and think on it before deciding. So that's what I tell him. I see. It's true, I have time. Thank you very much. Thank I feel you, come a, again. <laughs> I feel a bit better now. I have no idea if my advice was really helpful or not. But Sukasa bows politely to me. Goodbye! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Great! You good now? Your future's bright, unlike this old guy here, so don't worry so much. Slap. Seriously. That's not true. I'm sure he he's also has a bright... They both look at me. Very dull. Eh, no. Can't picture it. So mean. That's what makes him approachable, so he's good to vent to at least. God dang. But there definitely are things that only he can do. He defeated five spirits! Honestly, I can't think of any myself. Technically six, kinda-ish. Five and a half. I can make a good pot of coffee, but that's not really what they're talking about. I mean, there's that doll. Sukasa falls silent. I, I can't do that voice anymore. Then don't. It seems my expression gave me away. Have you not made much progress? Nothing I can share at the moment. I've researched everything I can. Mary's true identity is as elusive as smoke. I still haven't managed to find clues. So I'm taking a bit of a break right now. I'm glossing over it. But to be honest, any sort of tension has vanished. My rest hasn't relaxed me. It's more like I'm a balloon that's lost all its air. If I was risking my life and facing death every day, it might be different, but... Right now, my determination to move forward that I had back then is gone. That's so... Uh, I'm sorry. I had no idea. I thought you weren't gonna be the voice anymore. Then it might be best for you to rest and relax a bit. How about a trip to improve your mood? You might get a good idea. Yeah. I'm about <laughs> to reply to that when... <laughs> There's another knock at the door. Explosion occurred. <laughs> yeah, it's Machida. Who could that be at this hour? It's like 4 a.m. It's her. Yes! Who is it? Machida. Moe calls out playfully like she lives here and skips <coughs> over to answer the door. I'm coming in. The brusque voice belongs to... Sure, I'm just See? Kidding. I think it's going in order, and what's with the frickin' music? Machida, <laughs> you have some nice music. The ex-detective Satoru Machida. Satoru. Satoru. Back. Machida. Hey, what's all this? When do you start daycare? Huh? Mr. Machida, why are you here? Did you come to see us? Moe's clearly excited, but Sukasa is collected as he bows politely. I'm in your debt for help back then. Still, I'm surprised. I didn't think we'd be able to meet here. Music. Oh, oh. Mashia gives an annoyed shake of his head. I'm the, one, I'm the one asking why you're here. Damn, we're going in circles now. Don't lie. I know you're happy to see us. You're always hiding your feelings. Closet pervert. What? Oh, but what a huge coincidence. I looked up your skirt last time, too. We've got everyone from Hanahiko, God the Hanahiko case, back together again. Claps all around. <laughs> this is totally destiny. Destiny's I feel, child. I feel conflicted seeing her innocent smile. I don't think it's really all if that. If everyone's innocent. happy after such a horrific event, then maybe it'll fade quickly to memory. Hmm. Everyone, huh? In that case, one person, no, one being, is missing. As he mutters, he glances at a spot in the room. He's looking for Mary. It would be best to change the subject. Why don't you just tell him? I'm pretty sure he knows. So, why are you here? I have something to ask you first. You want to take this conversation somewhere Shut else? Shut up! The music suggests it! He answers me with a question, like usual. Questers, you told that fortune teller about my office, didn't you? Maybe. Does he mean... Tawaka... Tawaka? Tawako <laughs> Yasuoka? To what do I owe the 
Yeah, it might have been alive. It might have come up while I was talking to her about Mary. Why did you go and do that? Now I'm drowning under investigation requests. Wait, does that mean... Oh. Are you a private eye, Mr. Mishida? Moe butts in, her eyes shining. You're <gasps> not timid, I'll grant you that. Wow! I guess you'd be pretty good at that. I'm scarier. Oh, if you get an interesting job, bring me along with you. Even Mashida can only blink at her innocence. And this is exactly why it's annoying. <laughs> Still, when I think about it, Mashida's complaints don't make much sense. How could he be disadvantaged by my sharing his info with Yasuoka, who's incredibly famous? He himself said he was drowning under requests. I only told her about your office. What's wrong with that? Getting job requests is good, isn't it? What detective hates too many requests? Plus, he only just started. Even, even if he's insanely talented, there's no way he's already overwhelmed. It depends on what the request is about. Oh. The one I just got is the worst. Do you just hesitate? Mashita? Not Mashita. It's your fault this happened. So, questers. Yes? Would you like to take this conversation somewhere I'm else now? I'm going to have you help me. Well, I tried. Help you? <clears throat> well, wait a minute. What are we talking about here? Can't you guess based on the context? I believe he's telling you he wants your help with a detective job. Wow! I can't really picture him working as a private eye, though. Now, if he were to investigate a supernatural phenomenon, that would be per... <laughs> Wait, don't tell me. This worst request ever that you got? We all hold our breath as we stare at Mashita. Exactly. A spirit might be involved. Well then. It's a good opportunity. This is what I heard from that old fortune teller. Ooh! Yeah, this is chapter 6. Yeah, Little Red Riding Hood. We have to do another one. <laughs> No, this is totally for real. I swear. I guess it's the people talking. I think I saw something real bad up. Oh, the Love Hotel! The street the other day! <laughs> oh, so it really was the Love Hotel <laughs> all along! It was. Oh. Not that one. No, it's the same one. It's the same you one. You heard about the Red Riding Hood girl? Oh, I know of her. I bought her last night. Anyway. <laughs> that rumor about people disappearing after entering that love hotel in K-City. K-City? Ghost! <laughs> On rainy days, this girl stands by the road like she's trying to get customers. See? Judge. Anyone who goes in the hotel with her ends up missing. And here's the kicker. Eventually they're found, but... Their heads are so messed up they can't even remember their names. Ooh. Some end up dying in the hospital and others jump in front of trains. Whoa. I totally forgot when I was walking around at night the last time it rained. And there was a girl in a red raincoat, raincoat there, so I thought I'd chat her up. But when I got close to her... <laughs> Tell me, are you... She suddenly started whispering to me. It was a whisper. I got real creeped out, so I bolted. No, I'm seriously glad she didn't follow me. Follow me. Thinking back on it, something was odd. It wasn't raining that hard, but she was the only one who was soaked from head to toe. Drowning with them? Maybe. Later I realized that raincoat was probably soaked with blood. Not blood! It wasn't a red raincoat. This is interesting. I actually like this one. That's all I was told. You didn't like the other ones? No, I mean, like, this, the backstory of this. It's so mysterious. 
I'm sorry. You must say that sounds like a simple ghost story. The rainy shopping district and the red raincoat rather But she ignores Tsukasa, looking straight at me instead. It's enough to make me concerned. I'll leave the rest to you, Questers. You're coming with me. I'm bogged down with my other cases. I don't have time to spare. Then why'd you drop it off of me? Are you gonna pay me? <laughs> it's your fault that 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 old lady brought this to me. You added way too many that's there. Yeah, because I stuttered. It's your fault that that old lady brought this to me. See, brought it. So you need to take responsibility. I don't need to take anything. But but. I get paid by the minute. Come on! You can help him out a little. I'll help too. The editorial department might have some info on a case like this. And your investigation needs an assistant, right? Did you learn nothing, Miss Moe? Isn't this what put you in danger last time? Last time. Last teammate. Those words draw my eyes immediately to a certain spot. She's not here anymore. The same thing won't happen. It can't. Sure it can. But somewhere deep in my heart, I'm anxious. Don't work yourself up. It's more likely that it's just a lie. A bunch of it sounds like it was made up. That's why it's such a pain to have an absurd request like this brought to me. She is right. It's highly, unlike highly likely this whole story was made up. If I had to point out anything concerning about it, it's pretty detailed for just a rumor, and it leaves the same kind of impression as rumors of real spirits. But it's better to be safe than sorry. Is it? If it does end up true, then we need to attack now, yeah? I don't know okay, why I thought you were going to say something. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. There. Sorry. I hoped you'd say that. We better get... Re no, I'm going alone. What? No way! That's not fair! I knew she'd complain. But I can't put her in harm's way. You did before. Listen, boy, I need you to search for info. I've got no way to research these rumors, but you have access to a lot more than me. Use your position to gather information. Hmm. I really hate sitting out and watching you do everything. Yeah, I've been watching you. But if that's how I can help best, then that's what I'll do. This time. If you find anything out, though, tell me, okay? I promise. It's settled. Mishia takes out a notebook, rips out a page, and hands it to me. The address of the hotel, Masquerade. It's abandoned now, though. Do we need to wear a mask? What? That's what Masquerade means! Meet there at 8, tomorrow night. Nigget. 8 p.m.? I have to go at a specific time? The client set the time. The old lady said she'd call in help, so it's probably a scheduling thing. Don't have to handle this alone then. Watch this banshee. <laughs> Plus, this is Yasuoka. I'm sure she has some kind of plan in mind. It's Mary. Well then, I need to get to my other cases. But she turns on his heel and vanishes out the front door. But he's just as suddenly back. What's wrong? Weren't you leaving? What, you want to get rid of me that badly? Yes. I was leaving, but I had to tell you guys something. Don't look up my skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Just realize it's a little late for kids to be wandering out around outside. Machida calls out to the other two. Hey, you two. I'll drive you back, so hurry up and get in the car. Oh, is that okay? Then I'll take you up on that. I agree. It is pretty late. Sorry to trouble you. Well then, mister, we'll be going. Got kind of like a girl voice there. I mean, he is young, so... Still has that lighter voice. 
The rhythmic ticking of the grandfather clock echoes throughout the hall. How long has it been since those three went home? Um, um since at the, the end of all this. Previous night? Yeah. <laughs> I sit and mull over what Mashita told me. I have a bad feeling about this. It's perfectly reasonable to believe it's just rumors. A normal case, even. But the more I think about it, the more I'm doubting it. I avert my eyes from the sofa. I silently ask its absent master a question. But of course, there's no way she'd reply. She replies anyway. The next evening. I would like to save! I know. I get ready and leave my room with heavy steps. It's really boring outside. Is it? I don't the know. The clock it says like it's was six happening. on the dot. It was sounds windy. It's still early for the meetup time. I guess unconsciously I'm a little impatient. I'm already ready. There's no reason to wait here at the mansion. Guess I'll go. I'll just kill time there if I'm early. I'll learn the truth. In and out. It'll be quick. I turn the car key. My mood improves somewhat. New info was added to the spirit fault. Rumors of Red Riding Hood other. Not this again! I was like, please just let me save! My god! <sighs> Alright, so here we have the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Which is better be the last thing of this game. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna end it here. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Bye.